Hollywood police today want to track down the heartless person who dumped a severely abused dog. And we must warn you here, these images are really tough to see. Local 10 CN Margo is live now with our one and only exclusive today. Ian. Calvin, this is such a sad story, and this poor dog really stood no chance. Now he may be blind forever. Here he comes. This seven-year-old pit bull has been through a lot. So this is Mr. Rocky. Rocky was found by Hollywood police abandoned in a warehouse area. They snapped this picture of the pup, his eyes so badly injured and infected, he's now almost completely blind. He was in pretty bad condition. Flor Vargas runs Noah's Rescue, the group that took Rocky from the police who found him. God willing, you know that the cops were able to find him, you know, and pick him up and give him a chance. One of the group's volunteers then brought Rocky to the Neighborhood Veterinary Center in Hallandale Beach, where Dr. Carlos Amajedas first got to see him. He says there's no doubt there's some kind of abuse involved here, be it physical or neglect. We're assuming that it's some form of either trauma that has occurred from something that was poured onto him or something that has just been an ongoing infection that was never really received its proper medical care. The good news is Rocky's infection is improving and although his eyesight likely will never come back, they say his heart is doing just fine. He's been a, a great boy while he's here, always happy, always willing to be part of whatever's going on, um, even with his you know, poor condition and his poor, vis his poor vision at this time. And he is such a sweet dog. He just loved being pet the entire time we were interviewing the vet and also the rescue. Right now, the rescue is looking for a foster that can take care of him. They also are looking for donations to help with his medical bills. We have all of the information that you need if you want to help out on our website, local10.com. Live in Hallandale Beach, I'm Ian Margle, Local 10 News.